The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Right now, all is quiet. Yes, we have a little bit of cloud cover around, especially east of the parkway, but the trend will be for the clouds to actually decrease tonight. And tomorrow, I think we'll see a little more sunshine in the morning, more clouds in the afternoon. It looks like tomorrow's for the most part dry Friday or Saturday, too. But things will start to change for us on Sunday, okay? Maybe as soon as Saturday night, I think after midnight Saturday night, that is when some precipitation will start to move in and we're going to be really watching areas to the south of us. That's where our next weather maker is coming from. The precipitation will then move from the south to the north, eventually overspreading the region late Saturday night into Sunday. Now, as we kind of look zone by zone here, it looks like south side is mainly just going to see rain as we head into Sunday. Lynchburg, you're going to have a slightly better chance for maybe a little bit of mixing to take place, but you're probably going to see more rain than anything else. It's west towards the Highlands, New River Valley, and to a lesser extent, the Roanoke Valley, where we will see some wintry weather. Okay, the Highlands, the Roanoke Valley, probably not going to see as much wintry weather as the New River Valley. Okay, I'm thinking that the zone that has the highest chance to see the most amount of snow and sleet will be the New River Valley. And right now, I don't think it's going to be, you know, 10, 12 inches. I'm thinking more like one to four. That's my best guess right now. Of course, we're going to come out with our first guess snow slash sleep map come tomorrow. It's around, say, Mountain Lake. Areas around White Top could see isolated higher totals, maybe up to six. But what we're thinking right now is the NRV one to three, maybe one to four inches of snow and sleep before all is said and done. Again, that would be Sunday into Sunday evening. Of course, timing things out full Sunday. Looks like late Sunday morning, round one moving in, and that would be a true mixed bag of weather. Then late morning to the mid afternoon, I wouldn't be surprised if we're dry slotted for a while. Then late in the afternoon, Sunday into Sunday, best chance on that accumulator we were just talking about. It's that apparent yes is, remember, I think it's almost going to be a fast freezing rain now as Mara Loft will create all type of across southwest central and south side Virginia. You need to know that uh, temperatures are likely at the surface going to be in the 30s. The question just becomes how low does that cold air get? Does it get all the way to the surface? If it does, it's more snow, especially towards the higher elevations. Hard to believe we're talking about this after today we hit 70 degrees in Lynchburg, tying the old record of 70 set back in 19. 25 and right now it's 54 in Withville, 60 in Roanoke, 65 Lynchburg, 66 in Danville, but it is colder north and west of us. That's what's moving in just in time for the weekend. However, any cold air that we have this weekend is gone by next week as temperatures will soar above average again beginning on Monday for tonight. Decreasing clouds still breezy overnight lows 40s and lower 50s. Three days zone by zone forecast 50s in the NRV Friday middle 30s on South on Sunday. Highlands, you're going to have the chance for a good old wintry mix as we head into Sunday. South side of Sunday, it's mainly rain for you. Lynchburg, temperature 63 Friday, upper 30s, lower 40s Sunday. Then we're back into the mid to upper 60s one week from today. Across the Roanoke Valley, we are looking at uh, the wettest day out of the next seven being Sunday, and it could be snow, sleet, freezing rain, and rain for you across the Roanoke Valley before we start to see more sunshine on Monday and Tuesday. Today we forecast 66, actual high was 69, $10 in the pot, $150 raised so far for the Harrison Museum of African American Culture. All right, so if you have enjoyed this mild stretch of weather, mm -hmm. you only have to get through two cold days over the weekend. That's and then it. the mild weather returns. <laughs> We're close to 70 again one week from today. Okay. It's crazy.